new camera. Who did? So we're doing something a little bit different today. We're going on some virtual dates. It's a game called Five Dates, where you go on multiple dates. And this is the one with Saffron. I cracked the wine, so it's quite entertaining for me and you. While I've got you, don't forget to hit all this stuff. And enjoy. Alrighty, we're ready to wine and dine some lady friends. Let's get the wine going. Four pound, Aldi. My dad always says, you know it's good when it's over 10%. All right, let's date. Dog. Pussy magnet. Thank you, Vinny. Thank you. One at a time, please. Is this us? <sighs> Have you actually just woken up? <laughs> yeah. What's the issue, man? Well, nothing. I just never understood how you could sleep until lunchtime. Lunchtime? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> the boy done fucked up. I'm loving this sort of back and forth they've got going on. I can't wait to see how it develops. It isn't. I actually Rude. have a surprise for you. Oh, that's tough. I joined a dating app. No Whoa. way. <laughs> no one of my friends would ever react like that. What? No. It's a dating app. Calm down. Hey, Vin, seriously, yeah? No joke. Your profile needs to be on point yeah and then when you're looking at these girls profiles there's a few things you need to watch out for you need to look at the angles that they're using to take the pictures and that yeah because oh he's right though i know it sounds vain but he's goddamn right everyone's a photographer out there just remember that because they're, they're gonna deceive you callum i have i have talked to girls before i do understand of course we have i've talked to girls <laughs> before okay wait hold on hold on hold on wait hold on it's got nothing hold on nice. No way. No way. It looks like I've got beginner's luck. Oh, you man. Oh, you sexy bastard, <laughs> bro. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I've got some matches. All right, man. Let me know how it goes, bro. Peace. All right, cool, man. Bye-bye. Peace. <laughs> matches. Let's go. Look at all these. Kid. Well, at least she's been upfront about it. And she looks like she could cut carrots with those cheekbones. Let's go with the one we've got most in common. I've got high hopes. Saffron. Oh, accept them all. Oh, no! I picked her with the kid. Yeah, get it on. Definitely on. Layers. It's all about layers. Oh, this guy's looking peng, bro. Tasty. I'm this guy. I think we all need a friend like this. Such a gas man. Okay, and is this a good setup? I've got this right. Uh, you know what? I don't think you should have the bed in the back like that, man. It sends out the wrong message. Okay, I'm definitely moving into the nearer room. Okay. Oh, trying to look like a slut. Ugh. Yeah, oh, Vinny, and he didn't even straighten Vinny, his we've pillows. we spoken about this. It's, it's, it's just wrong, man. It's wrong. I think this is a good spot. Uh, let's get that fireplace yeah. looking nice in the back. Okay, maybe have a couple more things. <laughs> this man's redecorating his house. That's okay, better. I think, we're, I think we're ready. Oh, should I drink? It is your call entirely, mate. Oh, the worst thing, though, is if you're drinking and the other person... We're grabbing a beer. We're grabbing a so beer. Um, I need some beers. Yes! Yes! Okay. They don't look like beers to me. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, sponsor. Oh my goodness. Okay, I think the first one's about to start. Hey, go well, lad. Okay. Godspeed. All right, cool. Listen, wish I'll, me luck. Uh, oh God, it's happening. Shit. Are we ready to join yet? That were a cool move with the dog. 
I'm happy with that. Without further ado, let's date. God, I hope she's drinking. All right. Is he crying? Come on, mate. Sort it out. Chill. Oh. <laughs> Vinny. Hi. Hi. I'm so glad you're still there. Sorry I'm late. No, no, no it's fine. Yeah, get, sorry. I was just doing yoga and I like completely zoned out. Do you mind if I just tidy this up for one time? I'll be really quick. No, please, please, go ahead. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Just gonna light some incense because there is some very sweaty energy in here. <laughs> right. <laughs> that would bake. It's not going well. Nice. Some sweaty energy. He didn't like that comment. I'm with you. I think it's pretty uh it's pretty cool that you're keeping active during lockdown. Oh my gosh, it's like the only way I could keep my equilibrium. <laughs> Have you <laughs> been like keeping active or Doing any exercise nah. during lockdown? I don't know. <laughs> like what? Just walking or <laughs> <laughs> anything, any kind of exercise. Just keeping active. All right, keeping I'm gonna limbo. do the yoga. No, 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 no. I've been keeping limbo. I have. Um, me and my mates have been taking turns to lead uh, hit sessions over video calls every day. So wow, yes. you must be getting a lot stronger if you've been doing like hit every day. Uh. I guess so. I haven't really put it to the test, but drop and give me twenty. You you mean what right now? Yeah. Into a corner now, aren't I? Mm-hmm. I'll give it a go. I'll give it a go. Why not? All right, let's do this. No. 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 Why? I'm watching. I don't like this woman. Yay. I'm heavy. <laughs> okay. Um. One. That was one, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, mate. I did not think I'd be doing this right now, my date. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't. Oh, wow. Why would you even do it then? <sighs> Are you seriously laughing? You said you've been doing hit every day, so... Gosh, I feel like I haven't worked out in years. <laughs> so, was it bullshit? Am I meant to know what this guy's done and not done? You know? <laughs> Mental note. Wine makes me aggressive. <laughs> sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> well, listen, thank you for breaking the ice, Saffron. It's my specialty. So, oh? Thomas, what is it that you do for a living you know, when you're not breaking the ice? Um, I'm a project manager for an animal welfare charity. Oh my goodness. I melt the ice of a weekend when I'm not breaking it. More wine, sorry. Quick interlude. Oh, yeah. Be cool. I've actually been a vegan for about 10 years. <laughs> do you mind if I ask what you eat? No, no, not at all. It's it's a very important detail right now, isn't it? <laughs> Pretty much. Let's do vegetarian, so we're not completely <laughs> bullshitting, but we're half there. I've actually been a vegetarian for a few years now. Well, I won't try to brainwash you. Vegetarianism definitely makes things easier. <laughs> what? Where are your eyes wandering off to? <laughs> your uh, your living room is confusing. Eccentric. <laughs> no. Are they tits? I completely missed that. Not like me. So fascinating. What interests you most? Pottery. Uh... The pottery has breasts on it. So if you don't say that, you're just lying. There are actually some really interesting pieces of art over there. Ah. You're staring at my boob pots. I attend these, um... Pottery classes, and I like made these collection of pots with female breasts in all different shapes and sizes. I feel like they're all really beautiful. Hey, listen, amen to that. What do you think? Praise, okay, okay. praise I think, tits. I think that they are beautifully crafted. A sort of rustic, but with real breasts. detail too. Rustic with breasts. 
so you can't really miss. I actually think that you're really, really talented, so... Okay, you've gone completely overboard. Well, I didn't but... think he'd say Just... that, love, to be honest. Thank you, you're very sweet. <laughs> he did lay it on a bit thick. You know what we could do? There's this ultimate compatibility test that's only three questions. Do you want to do it? Oh, okay, shit. let's go for it. Okay, so question one is... Do you like horror films? Ooh. I just have to give a simple yes or no answer, yeah? Mm-hmm. Very straightforward. Oh, then this is oh, God, yeah. super, super easy. Um, I, I love them. Supernatural ones, uh, psychological oh. ones. Oh. Uh, okay. She looked like the sort. I like horror movies, yet you make breasts on pottery, and I'm the weird one. Get over yourself, love. I'm going to stop you there. What? I'm so sorry. I cannot stand them. No. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna... that's such a shame. Why? Because they're so good to watch with people. Yeah. I mean, what is there a reason? Like, why don't you like them? I just... Um... To be perfectly honest with you, I suffer from, like... I suffer from anxiety really bad. I'm so sorry to hear that. It's okay. I, I keep it under control with my lifestyle choices, but I used to get panic attacks really badly, so I just try to avoid like all triggers, like scary movies. <laughs> uh, here's what annoys me about that. Not that she's got anxiety or that she's dealing with anything, but it feels like to me, with that sort of question about horror films, she wanted me to ask further, just my opinion, so she could tell me about that. Now, I know she took a little breath, but it's like Amber Heard, you know. I suffer. You know, I understand, but it seems to me like she wanted me to ask about that. So she probably didn't like me after that, but I'm being pretty kind about it, so maybe it's up points. I totally understand, and they're just films, so it's not a big detail. So, uh, have you ever travelled to another country alone? Ooh, I She's definitely done, so I'm going to put yeah. Um, yeah? I know, it's kind of hard to remember that kind of stuff. Okay, okay, I don't know if this counts. I have. Um, I studied abroad in Bologna in Italy, and that was just... And you couldn't remember it? That was crazy. I mean, I love travelling, but... I actually don't think I've ever been alone. Oh. You haven't? No. no. Okay, I find Ooh. that surprising. I know. You kind of would have thought I had, right? Yeah. Like I'm going to ask why. <laughs> the anxiety thing. Uh, how comes you haven't travelled alone yet? Well, no, don't get me wrong. Like, I love my own company, but I just feel like in experiences like travelling, I just want to share my energy with someone. I get that completely. Come on, then! Finally. Could you pack up your life and live on a boat? Wow, now that is a left field question. Just imagine yourself, yeah. She seems into it. With that little sweat patch. Mm -hmm. Again. Floating along. Yep. I'll do it do with you. you. I reckon I could. I we'll live on a boat and fish and swim and snorkel and just live on a boat with you. That's all I want to do, love. Live on a boat. I'm a pretty low-key guy at the best of times, and I'm thinking about it now, and that sort of tranquility is probably a bit of me. Mm -hmm. but, okay, disclaimer, my sea legs aren't great, but I guess that's just something you'll get used to. Yeah, no, same. I could do it in a heartbeat. I feel like lockdown has been great practice. No, 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 I'm there. I'm there with you. Oh? Well, that was a bit of a disaster, wasn't it? Smidge. Guess we're not compatible. <sighs> it hasn't put a score down. It hasn't put it up either. So we're all right. I mean, do you really trust all these personality tests? <laughs> Vinny, just because I'm a hipster, it doesn't mean that I base my life off obtuse thinking <sighs> and mysticism. Okay, no, no, you're right. However, I did notice that our star signs aren't super compatible. Uh, yeah. I'm going to head. Um, I had a really good time getting to know you. Yeah, me too, Saffron. Maybe I'll, uh, I'll see you around.
Well, that were a disaster. Oh, and just by, before you go, I noticed that, um, you know, our star signs aren't really compatible, so just think about that. But I'm off now. Um, see ya. What? All right, bye, love. Bye. I also like fish on a Tuesday. Is that a problem? <laughs>